Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, here's the question. The price of an item is $160, including tax. If the tax rate is 5%, what was the original price? So I had a previous video that talked about discount. And the discount amount, when you go into a store, gets subtracted from the original price. But here, obviously, the tax amount gets added. Okay, Discount is subtracted. Tax is added. Wouldn't it be nice if you went in the store and they subtracted the tax out of the price? Sorry, no such luck. Now the idea is the original price, which we do not know, okay, it's asking for the original price, um, is going to be added to a 5% sales tax, okay? And the total is, well, the original price represents 100% of the original price, okay? When you go in and you pay the, the price that's asked for, that's 100%. But when you add the tax on there, that means that what you really pay at the cash register, in this case, is going to be 105%, okay? So, do we know the actual amount that you pay? Yes. It says right here, $160, okay? So $160 represents 105% of some original price, okay? It's this information right here that we're going to use in two different ways and solve, okay? The first method is, just like in my previous video, we're going to write an equation out of it. So in words, let's take the uh, question of this problem and think of it a different way. 105% of what original price is $160? Okay, got to word it carefully. So really what we have is 105%. Now remember, when we're working in these percent problems, we need to change every percent into its decimal equivalent. So we have to move the decimal point, which would be right there, two places to the left, so it represents 1.05 of is multiplication in this case what anytime we have an unknown amount we can give it a variable name we'll call it x is would be equals and 160 goes on the right alright so of course we're gonna solve this equation by doing the opposite what are you doing to the x oh we're multiplying by 1.05 so to solve we do the opposite divide both sides by 1.05 and that right there, that one division problem should give us our answer. 152 dollars and 38 cents. Now I'm rounding to two decimal places. There's a bunch of other digits after the eight. But let's go 152 dollars and 38 cents. Okay, let's use the proportion method now. Sometimes writing a problem like this as a proportion is much easier. Now always we write 100% in the lower left. In the upper left we write the percent amount if we know it. Notice that we're talking about 105%. I know that that's larger than 100% but remember we're adding tax. So tax creates a 100, more than 100% amount of something. Okay. Now the um, ratio on the other side is is over of. Okay, is represents the part amount, and of represents the original amount. Okay, do we know the original amount? No, we do not. But if we look over here with our words, is 160, $160 represents that 105% amount. So it goes on top. So there's our proportion. We're going to cross multiply 105% times x diagonally there, which is really one point. 05 x attach it together to show multiplication and then 100 percent times 160 is still 160 okay remember 100 percent really means one okay now of course just like the other side i showed you we're going to divide both sides by 1.05 and we will come up 
with the same answer. All right, $152.38. Okay, equation method or proportion method, but here's the key. We're gonna use 105% because tax is added on. All right, I hope that that made sense and thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.